And moving on to Ukraine now, the true scale of the flood disaster in southern Ukraine is still unclear, but one Russian official in the region is now reporting five fatalities. And Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky visited the Kherson region this morning, inspecting damage from the flooding, flooding that is now ravaging that area for a third straight day. Deborah Pata has more. Misery upon misery for the people of Kherson. They wade through the deluge, clutching their possessions, using whatever they can to stay afloat. While stranded, animals gather on what little high ground they can find. Fresh drinking water is flown in by drones to desperate residents, and soldiers and volunteers work tirelessly to evacuate those trapped by rising waters, <laughs> hauling them through windows or out of the murky depths and carrying the frail and elderly to safety. <laughs> but danger is always close, says Katerina. As a Russian shell lands nearby, this may be a disaster area, but it is still a war zone, where despite Russia's retreat from Kherson city last year, the bombardment has not let up. Everywhere, anger is close to the surface. Putin must burn in hell, this woman curses, adding, they couldn't finish us off, now they're trying to drown us. Even with a catastrophe of this magnitude, the fighting rages on, with incremental Ukrainian gains being made, Kiev claims, on the Eastern Front. Here, their troops are seen advancing on Russian positions around the ruined city of Bakhmut, currently held by Kremlin forces, and the scene of some of the bloodiest fighting of this conflict. And concern is mounting for those trapped by floods in Russian-controlled areas. President Zelensky has called for an urgent international rescue effort. Vlad? Deborah Pata in Ukraine for us. Thank you.